Welcome back guys, so I'm back with another YouTube video. This one is going to show you the best music streaming software you can self-host at home with large collections of music. So this program is called Polaris. It's a really great program with you people with big libraries. I have like 20, like 15,000 songs and multiple different folder directories with those songs and this works great for it. I'll list the GitHub in the, pay, uh, GitHub in the description. Basically, what it is is it's a self-hosted music player with the built-in Android app. So there is an Android app you can download from the Play Store, F Droid, and I think iOS as well. So let's take a look at it real quick. If I go to my reverse proxy, so you get moved to this picture. Just type in my username and password. I'll blur this out, obviously. And there's a couple cool features. You, it selects by folder. So if you want to select a certain folder, you just go into Collections. Click on add more. You can add a certain folder with music in it. It'll auto pull all the data from there and makes a subfolder. So let's say I want to listen to all these. All I have to do is click Q all. And this is my entire folder playlist in a playlist. I can also save it. <coughs> so it's saved for future. And so all I have to do on my Android app is load up my playlist. Click on my rock and roll playlist. And it auto plays right there. Play all. It's as simple as that. You can also shuffle on any app as many times as you want. So if you want to listen to a different set of settings or an alphabetic order, you can do that. So let's get on and install this. Now, as far as I know, this only works with Windows, um, but I could be wrong. Uh, right now, if you load up, if you go to the GitHub and go to the download page. Oh, it does work with tar.gz, so it will work with Linux, I'm fairly certain. You just click on the MSI, you download it. Once it's downloaded, double click it and run the MSI installer. Click accept and install. This is going to install the software. We'll just wait for this to install. Okay, now that's done, we click finish. And now if we just click on the Polaris app on our desktop, allow. You want to allow both, so when you're doing the reverse proxy, if you're going to do that, you can use it like that. And you see we have something in the bottom right-hand corner, it's Polaris. So now if we load up our local host, local host, I think it's 5050. There's our Polaris. It says, welcome, servers up and running. Click this. You select a music directory. I'm just going to select, well, I already have it loaded, so I don't have to do this, but I'll do it again just for kicks and giggles. So mine's in a remote drive, so I'm going to go to my remote drive, which is my, oops, not my M directory, my S directory. And we're going to go to music. And I'm just going to select, we'll just select rock and roll. And we'll copy this directory. And click add. And we'll name it rock and roll. Next. To make our admin username, which I'm going to use admin. You can put this obviously however you want it. Select a secure password because if you don't, uh, it makes it vulnerable to attack. Now, when you first load this up, it'll take a little bit to sync all your songs. But once you do that, it's pretty quick afterwards. You can also select different UIs like blue, brown, dark, which is what I keep mine. You can also select the select color. So I have mine is red. But you can obviously do whatever you feel comfortable with. I got on here. So see, and then you can select your collection. So we have that rock and roll. So if I want to add more collections, I can just type that in, type like EDM and whatnot. And the more you add, the more it allows. Click scan. And like I said, this will take some time. You can also add users. So let's say I want to create a regular user. So we'll make it a um, friend. And we'll give them a username, a user password. Create. And then when you want to give access to libraries to them, all you have to do from there is go into here. So if you want to give access, I'll go to mine because it's already set up. You go in here, you go into collections. I'm sorry, users. And you can select what, what playlist they can use. Actually, you go to playlist. Let's say I want to go to EDM. And I want to allow this to be played by any user. So all I have to do is, I think, go into settings. There's somewhere you can enable this. So grant access to all settings, we don't want to do that, but we do want to allow them. 
And so all the music will be linked into their account. So they should have access to all the playlists as you want. If they want to make a quick one, like I said, all they have to do is this and then scroll right. We'll click on it and click add a playlist, queue all, and then click save the playlist. And they should be able to save the playlist. Um, also, there's cool things, settings in here. You can link your last FM account so it scrabbles the songs, i.e. adding other songs that are in your directory. You can add those. Um, there's also the ability to use the Android app, which I'll come back in a second and show you the Android app experience, which is pretty cool as well. Thanks, guys. I'll see you guys in a second on my Android. I'm on my Android now, and if you go into Polaris, if you just download from the App Store, there's multiple ways to download it. You just, um, you should be able to log in. I'm going to log out real quick, so it has my settings deleted. So you're going to click, I'm sorry, it's going to automatically show that it's logged into nothing. So just click on server address, and you type in either localhost 5050, if that's your local host where you're hosting it, or if you have a reverse proxy, type in your domain name. Type in your username, your password, and then bam. You can also set your cache. Let's say I want 500 megs. That's fine. You can also do unlimited or 10 gigs. It, it's got a whole bunch of different options for offloading cache, offline cache size, so you don't undo that. I have the songs preloaded to unlimited. You can do it, obviously, to certain di different sizes. Um, that way, it just automatically loads the content, so it's, it's zero gap between content uh, songs. Next thing you do, all you need to do from there is just go in your collections, uh, you go to Browse Directories, and if you want to make a directory load just into a queue, you just slide it to the right, and it loads the music. And it's as simple as that. If we go into queue, it's got all the music in alphabetic order. I click Shuffle, and it'll auto-shuffle all my songs. It might take a minute or two. We'll just wait for it. And there we go. Now it shuffled the songs. So, let me go all the way to the top. See, they're all different. They're all different order. So that is it. If you guys have any questions, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified of my new videos. And let me know what you think about the software, if it's something you like or don't like. But this works great with all my music I have. I love this app. I have not found yet to find a replacement that works just as well as this and just works. Give me a uh, – if you guys enjoy this, please like and comment, subscribe. Thanks, guys.